So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the last minute exam tips that you need for your second year university exams. I am Rohit Pidhiya, a third year medical student, Madhuri Medical College. And in this channel, I post videos about all these academic stuffs. So definitely hit the subscribe button. Take your standard book. Take whatever book you have been studying from. Flip through the pages. You have to try to recall whatever you've been studying all this time. For example, let's take Robbins. You take your Robbins, take both your volumes of Robbins, flip through all these pages, read whatever you underline, so that you kind of recall what you have been studying throughout the entire year. I have some important tips towards the end, so make sure you hang till the end. See, first of all, mindset is important. Tell yourself that I got this. Just tell yourself right now that you got this. Because you genuinely got this, university exams are nothing. You're going to pass the exam easily. My dad is a doctor and he says that failing university exam is the, is the difficult part. You have to put hard work to fail. It's, it's like very hard to fail. So passing university exam is very easy. Just put some effort and you, you got this alright. So you got this. Once you're done flipping through the pages, take your Q-Bank. See, if you're not having a Q-Bank, get a Q-Bank. There are definitely Q-Banks out there. Like they are literally roaming around in WhatsApp and Telegram. So just take the Q-Bank. Solve all the important questions. So, now you might ask me, how do I solve the important questions? See, for example, let's assume there is this question on hepatocellular carcinoma. Take the page, take the relevant page on Robbins, flip through it, read all the underlying text and assume as if this question is going to come to your exam tomorrow. So, study as if this particular question is coming to your exam tomorrow. Read everything thoroughly, revise properly, draw the diagrams right then and there and you are good to go. Period. Now, coming to the individual subjects, pathology. See, pathology is all about histology, man. Pathology is equal to histology, period. So, take a bang your exam. Take yours and hematology pens, HNE pencils. Take them. Practice the diagrams properly. So, you have to practice the histology diagrams properly. Or also, there are all these flow charts in pathology. Revise them thoroughly. And then, go into pharmacology. You have to study about the drugs individually. Study the side effects. Uh, there is this book by uh, K. D. Tripathi. Uh, it is about the classification of drugs. You have to memorize the entire uh, flowchart. In my case, I have been studying pharmacology pretty decently the, the entire year. So I didn't really have to memorize the drugs. I, I just knew myself that this particular drug comes under uh, this classification. So if we, if we have built the concept throughout the entire year, good, good for you. But you haven't really done any conceptual uh, stuff, no? it's, it's totally fine. Memorize the classification because classification is the most important thing. And then coming to microbiology, microbiology is equal to lab investigations. Take your book, study the lab investigations properly and study all the important microbes, Staphylococcus aureus. So there are, there are these important organisms. So you should be knowing about Staph aureus. You should be knowing about Staphylococcus pneumonia. You should be knowing about Nasari Varroja. So you have these particular organisms. You should be studying them. So study them, revise them. See, just have like 10 points. This will be coming in short notes only. So have like 10 basic points. So what Staphylococcus aureus, golden yellow pigment, all the all these stuff. Just remind yourself of all these small small topics. Pro tip is actually solving marrow modules. It actually helped me in that because if you're solving the marrow modules during an exam time, it will like it, it will just make yourself like recall the entire thing by yourself. So it will really help you. So I happen to forget this really important pro tip. I shared this uh, with my junior as well. So this is trying to study in a retrospective fashion. That is, see, we are currently in this CBME curriculum. So the questions will be case-based, clinical-based. The questions won't be asking directly about myocardial infarction. The questions instead will be about a 55-year-old male patient who was a chronic smoker with hypertension for the last 10 years. And uh, suddenly, today morning, he was having a good uh, walk. And then he had his pain on his uh, chest, which was radiating towards his left shoulder and the left jaw. So, what is the pathogenesis? What is the clinical feature? What are the pathological diagrams? This is how your questions will be. So, whenever you are studying something, try to study in a retrospective fashion. Uh, there is this 25-year-old uh, sexually active woman uh, who is now having uh, uh, whitish uh, discharge, vaginal discharge. So, now what is the diagnosis? What is the clinical feature? So, this could be chlamydia trachomatis. This could be vaginal candidiasis. So, you have to have all these differential diagnosis so whenever you're studying something about candida you should not just be studying that candida will cause whitish discharge candida will cause whitish patches not like that you should also remember that whitish patches is equal to candida whitish discharge can be candida this is how your mind should work so whenever you're studying something from now on try to study in a retrospective way and one more pro tip i have shared in this video 
how to present your paper presenting your paper is an integral part of scoring well so make sure you check this video and i'll meet you guys in this video